All right, you guys ready to go to the park? Yeah! Yeah, but I need a coffee in me before we get there. Uh, you can wait until after. If I don't have coffee in my body by 10 a.m., bad things happen. You know that. Okay, okay. Let's go to a and for an A&W $1 coffee then. a and for coffee? Yeah, a and brewed coffee is delicious. And it's organic fair trade coffee too. Oh, fancy. Yeah, and it's $1. One dollar. One dollar. What about a medium coffee? One dollar. What about a large coffee? One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar? Yes, and that promotion is only on till November 30th, so can we go to A&W now? Oh, this is delicious. You happy? I think you need this more than I do. I thought this would be fun to try, okay? Do I have friends? But what about the ones that I, they don't like me? What about the one I talked to today? She's my best friend. She doesn't like me. Uh, uh, Selena! What do I do? She likes her other friends more? <gasps> Does she have any other friends? Look what I got. Oh, nice. We can't let the kids see, though. Kids see what? Da what? Da what? Oh, nothing. Nothing. No matter what, we can't let them know about the C-A-N-D-Y. Yeah, no. Oh, and also we have to take them to go get the S-H-O-T-S's today at the D-O-C-T-O-R-S's today. Oh, yeah, if they knew that ahead of time, they would totally F-R-E-A-K-O-U-T. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and while we're out, we should grab some more A-L-C-A-H-O-L. -A Good call. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for a quick car ride? No, day. But only if you give us the C-A-N-D-Y. That's in the C-U-P-B-O-A-R-D. And you misspelled alcohol. I am hella lost in this combo right now. <laughs> What's so funny? I can just cut my finger off right now. <laughs> Wild. Ah, gorgeous view from up here, eh? Yeah. Just thinking about the best way to land with breaking the least amount of bones, you know? I feel like feet first. What you looking at? Oh, if that fan fell up there, how many people do you think it would hit? Six? Seven? At least two would die. My money's on seven. Oh, I just love watching little kids play soccer. It's so cute. Yeah. I wish I could just trip them all at the same time, you know? What? What? What's on your mind? Oh, I'm just thinking about what my life would be like if you died in a fiery car crash inferno tomorrow, and vice versa. <laughs> okay. Here's your plate, man, but don't touch it, it's really hot. Oh, thanks, I'm gonna touch it. But I said it's really hot. I'm gonna touch it and see for myself. Okay, jeez. Yeah. Ah! Oh, ooh, what a cute statue. Ooh, it's kind of scary. Oh no, it's falling! It's falling! It's scared! Get you, get you, get you, get you! Oh, it broke. Oh dear God, it broke. I thought they were gonna get it. It was falling like a grandma. You know how old people fall? Uh, uh, oh, oh, Deborah, I'm going down. I'm going down. Help me, Je help me, Jesus. Help me, Tom Cruise. Oh, is that a copper? Oh, she's gonna get hit by water. I know it. Oh, is that a copper? <gasps> oh, that is absolutely diabolical. Kind of love to know that cops like play pranks on each other like that. Or maybe that was like a cop from like a different part of town in like Unit 85. I don't know what you call cop places. He was having an affair with this woman, but then his wife found out. She got really mad at him, and then they got a divorce. But then this girl didn't want to get back with him, and now he was left alone. So he saw this opportunity while she was doing a weird interview and just splashed her with water. That's what I hope the situation was. <laughs> Oh, the Russian, I think. Oh, I hope this hits him right in the face. He's got abs. Oh. oh! What's wrong? Oh, I just imagined I tripped and fell eyeball first onto this pen. What? Oh, that would suck. <laughs> anyway. Do you want to try to hold her? Oh, yeah. I kind of want to drop it, though. It, not actually, I just- it, Go away. It's fair. She's thinking about, babe? Oh, I'm just thinking about how long I'd last before I pass out if you suffocated me with this pillow. I'm joking! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you ever just want to walk out into traffic? What? No! I feel like I'd live if I got hit by a car. No, you wouldn't. Just tuck and roll onto the hood, you know? I wonder if we die if this elevator started to freefall. Excuse me? 
I think if I jumped right before it landed, I'd be Gucci. I don't think that's how gravity works. You want to find out? <laughs> okay, this is my floor. Have a good one. I want us to try this new voice filter, and uh, I'm going to tell a story with the little this thing. So, here we go. There once was a man named Daryl, and he had a beautiful wife named Oriel. David and Oriel have been together for nine years and live in a tent together. But one day when they were walking home from the supermarket, they saw that their tent was ravaged by alpacas. And not only that, but the alpacas had taken their precious ethereal stone. The precious stone that had given Oriel the ability to jump really high. And without the stone and the ability to jump really high, Daryl became unattracted to Oriel and left her for Gina, Oriel's sister. Little did Oriel know Gina had been the one to steal the ethereal stone with her army of alpacas with her quest to grind on, on Daryl. Oriel began to plot her revenge and remember that there was a pretty cool other stone that she could get that gave her other powers. A stone with the ability to ignite your hands into fireballs. So Oriel found the ancient map to the stone and the first location was to go to the Yodelin Forest. She arrived and heard something in the distance. Yodeling, 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 hee-hoo. She heard him, the beautiful yodeling man. She approached a large man who looked like Harry Styles. But instead of asking for the stone to get back Daryl, she simply said, Hey, I know. And he spoketh back. For real? Loving much. What about you? Aurea, stunned by his beauty, spoke back to him in a small voice and said, Really good. Do you want to get with me? He paused, examining Oriel and her beauty, and said back. I'd like that very much. The end. Love, you got a time? Yeah, I got a time. It's 8.30. Oh, are you from the UK? No. No. Ow. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, you have to look up this video. It's called Cat Needs Dough. <laughs> Just type it in. Oh yeah, for sure. What's it? Oh, that's... Uh, sorry, I just... I... How do you spell needs? I don't... <laughs> These fantasies started two years ago, three years ago, when? Two years ago. It's always the same. It starts the same way. How? Oh, tell me. I prepare for the noble war. I'm calm. I know the secret. I know what's coming and I know no one can stop me, including myself. Do you target people who have been mean to you or unkind? I kill people I like. Can I help you? Some of them beg for their life. I don't feel sad. I don't feel anything. It's a filthy world we live in. It's a filthy goddamn helpless world. And honestly, I feel like I'm helping to take them away from the shit and the piss and the vomit that run in the streets. I'm helping to take them somewhere clean.
and kind. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, when I was first asked to announce this high honor to the best Chad, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was for me. It was a little misleading, I'm not gonna lie, but- Let uh, it go, Chad. It's not your moment. Yeah, right, okay, okay. I wanna give a massive congratulations to Nickelback and the second best Chad on being the newest inductees into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. And I will see all of you at the Juno Awards on March 13th, 2023 in Edmonton. Huge congratulations to Nickelback again. You're absolutely awesome. Best chat out.